Well, thank you so much for the invitation to welcome you to this summit. Unfortunately, I can't be there in person because of parliamentary commitments, but given the nature of the focus today on connected healthcare, having a connected minister does seem appropriate. First, let me acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that we're meeting on today. In Sydney, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and in Canberra, the Ngunnawal people. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging and acknowledge and extend that respect to other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and elders from other communities who might be joining us. I also want to acknowledge and congratulate the Australian Digital Health Agency and the Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare for their initiative in convening C3.0 – Connect, Care, Confidence. Agency CEO Amanda Catamol and the Commission's Acting CEO Chris Lay have been enthusiastic advocates of this summit because this is precisely the right time to be advancing the role of digital health in Australia. The summit's title is inspired by Web 3.0, which represents the next evolution of the internet, built on the foundations of decentralisation, openness and greater user ability. Today you'll explore the next iteration of clinical governance in digital health, designed to facilitate a better understanding of our shared responsibility of safety, quality and the continuous improvement in the delivery of health technologies under the key themes of connect, care, confidence. Around the world, nations are using digital health to improve health systems and accelerate the use of health information and tools by consumers. The rise of digital health is part of a broader economy-wide transformation, but now more prominent because of the coronavirus pandemic. In Australia, since the outbreak of COVID-19, we've seen firsthand the dramatic rise of electronic prescribing, telehealth services and the use of My Health Record, the national technology platform overseen by the Digital Health Agency. These examples prove what people in this room already knew that digital isn't really about technology, it's about what we can enable our healthcare providers to have the confidence to do. Quite simply, by enabling secure ICT connections between clinicians, we ensure better health outcomes for patients. So connected healthcare is about enabling better quality care generally through a more seamless, personalised and modernised health journey. The pandemic has accelerated uptake of digital health, with consumers and healthcare providers embracing the benefits and the convenience that technology brings to healthcare. If given the choice, more than four in five consumers would choose to digitally receive their medical documents. As our healthcare system becomes ever more digital, it becomes increasingly important for everyone to consider the safety and quality risks as well as the opportunities that come with new and evolving digital health technology. The Strengthening Medicare Task Force that I've chaired has endorsed the need for reform to meet consumer expectations about their primary healthcare experience and support healthcare professionals to provide seamless quality care. A modern, digitally enabled and data-driven primary care system is utterly central to this. A first step is improving access to an individual's health information by their primary health care team, wherever it originates in the health system, and for it to be shared with their consent. With 23.5 million Australians having a My Health record, the job of the health sector and governments now must be to ensure that our health data systems work better together so people do not need to unnecessarily retell their health journey or endure duplicative procedures. In a connected healthcare system, digital reform and curated data are the foundations for primary care providers, allowing them to deliver greater continuity of patient care and quality and safety in that healthcare. Australia is ready to take the next steps on its digital health transformation journey. But to do so, the technology has to maintain the trust of the patients and the healthcare providers it's designed to support. Today, patients expect more than ever before from their health system. Public trust in innovation and change is a challenge that can erode quickly if their introduction to digital is problematic or not seen to be supported by effective governance and procedures. 
With the right short and long-term policy settings, incentives and the appropriate regulatory framework, I believe digital health represents the single greatest opportunity to transform healthcare in Australia as a learning and intelligence system that is better at preventing or enabling early interventions to manage health conditions. Central to any world-class healthcare system is the provision of services that are safe, of the highest quality and subject to continuous improvement. We need to implement world-class clinical governance of our digital health solutions, not because we have to have them, but because we care about the health outcomes and the experiences of our communities. Clinical governance builds confidence and trust in digital health technologies by providing a focus on creating the right solutions. Our health and care systems need to be strongly positioned to meet current and emerging challenges. Digital innovation is increasingly likely to be at the heart of meeting those challenges. Working together, the Agency and the Commission are well placed to not only digitally enable Australia's health and care systems by supporting the workforce, improving sustainability and health outcomes for patients, but also doing it in a way that ensures clinical governance across these systems builds the confidence of all Australians as we go. Australia has never been in a stronger position to draw on technology for the better health and well-being of its citizens. We need to work together to ensure that consumers are in the driver's seat for this journey because they want their own keys for greater access to their health information and greater connectivity with digital tools that support and improve their health. I wish you well in your deliberations today and have no doubt that this timely initiative will help in exploiting the rich potential of digital health solutions for the better health and better well-being of all Australians. Thank you very much.